Hey everyone, I think I'm finally live. <laughs> Welcome to Reseller Robot. My camera's not cooperating again. I didn't think I was going to get on today. YouTube's having problems. So let me see if I can close out this chat with StreamYard. Hey Carl, how are you? I'm running late here. <laughs> I was panicking. I thought it was me and it was YouTube, so... Something wrong with their API. No one was able to go live. I don't know. How you doing, Carl? It's just you and me, kiddo, right now. Haven't been on live in quite a while. So I thought I'd come on and do some work and hang out. And I'm going to do things a little bit differently today. And I, for those of you watching later and Carl, um, I want to thank everyone who responded to my questions on my last uploaded video where I was asking you guys, what do you want from this channel? Do you enjoy watching downloaded content or do you enjoy live streams more? And I've received lots of messages and some people commented in the comments of the videos. And the consensus is most people like the live streams because they get interaction and, um, you know, they get to talk with their friends and, and see some pretty clothes and things like that. So, Going forward, I'm going to be doing more live streams than I am uploaded content. And today, I want to do something a little bit different. I want us to try to be productive. I want to work at least an hour with you guys. And so I'm going to ask you three questions. The first one is, are you working right now? If that answer is yes, um, what are you working on specifically? And then the third one is, what do you hope to achieve within this hour? And you don't have to put it in the side chat if you don't want to. You can just keep it in your head. But just keep that in mind because as we close out this work session, I'm going to wrap it up by asking you, you know, did you achieve uh, what you wanted to achieve in this hour? I'm trying to really be productive in the time that I have right now. Today, I think I've been pretty productive so far. So what I'm going to be working on is putting photos into drafts and um, cross posting to Poshmark at the same time. Um, I've already listed about 25 appliance parts today that I bought on Saturday. So those are done. So all I have left is about, I don't know, 10 or 11 pieces of clothing. I don't know that I'll get to them all because I am going to be reading the side chat. If anybody would like to come on live with me, that would be awesome. You don't have to have your camera on. Otherwise, you're going to be looking at my mug the whole time. I may, I'll probably share my screen, so I'll give you something to look at. But if you feel like sharing right now, what are you working on? And what do you hope to achieve? Uh, Junk Girl Traders here. How are you doing, Anissa? It's good to see you here. I would like to make an announcement that um, usually on my Sunday night live streams, I do concerns in the community. Uh, we always talk about um, Pat D, Cindy Y, Adam's exploits. Um, I'm kind of drawing a blank right now. Jennifer Hayes. Um, I'd like to add Joanna Chicken Toad to that list. She's been having some health issues. And Joanna, if you're watching later, love you, girl. And please let us know how you're feeling, and I will add you to our list. And if there's any other concerns in the community that I need to know about, um, just let me know. Uh, I wanted to, I'm very stressed out. I got upset a few minutes ago, not at StreamYard. It was right before that happened. We had um, two women in um, black t-shirts come to the door, ring the doorbell. They had a little logo on their shirt. We have this big um, storm door. And I said, you know, we're not interested. There's a sign and we have a sign out front that's from our local security company. And it says no soliciting on it. And she's like, I don't see the sign. I don't see the sign. And so it's right there. I don't see the sign. I said, well, we're not interested. We're not interested. And so Jania said, you know, maybe the sign is not in a good place. Why don't you go move it closer to the door? So I went out there and put it in the flower bed a little bit closer to the door. And I would just went back to the other back room to put my makeup on. And what even five minutes later, the doorbell rings again. And I'm thinking, man, these women are just not getting it. it was another person in a, from a different company, a pesticide company. 
and she's standing right next to the sign that says no soliciting and i said read the sign you're, you're right there by the sign you know we're not interested i called our security company told them they need to come take a drive down the street and remind these people they're not supposed to be doing this and i got myself all worked up i kept coming out to the living room going <sighs> So I wanted to read something that I had forgotten about that I need to, I, I don't know, for those of you that know, I read the Daily Stoic every day and I also do the journaling. And there was a passage from this book. It was February 23rd and obviously I've forgotten this whole page. So I'm going to read this to you guys because I need to remember this. Um, the title is Circumstances Have No Care for Our Feelings. Quote, you shouldn't give circumstances the power to rouse anger, for they don't care at all. Close quote. That's from Marcus Aurelius. Um, a significant chunk of Marcus Aurelius' meditations is made up of short quotes and passages from other writers. This is because Marcus wasn't necessarily trying to produce an original work. Instead, he was practicing, reminding himself here and there of important lessons, and sometimes these lessons were things he had read. This particular quote is special because it comes from a play by Euripides, which except for a handful of quoted fragments like this is lost to us. From what we can gather about the play, Bellerophon, the hero, comes to doubt the existence of the gods. But in this line, he is saying, why bother getting mad at causes and forces far bigger than us? Why do we take things personally? After all, external events are not sentient, sentient beings. They cannot respond to our shouts and cries, and neither can the most indifferent gods. That's what Marcus was reminding himself of here. Circumstances are incapable of considering or caring for your feelings, your anxiety, and your excitement. They don't care about your reaction. They are not people. So stop acting like getting worked up is having an impact on a given situation. Situations don't care at all. So obviously I forgot that day um, what I read. So I'm over it, I'm calming down. Um, anyway, so I'm going to go ahead and looks like we have four people in here. Please hit the thumbs up if you're here. If you'd like to come on, just let me know. I'll put the link in the side chat. So I'm going to go ahead and get started here. I just did listen. I did list one while I was waiting for YouTube to come up. That didn't take very long. I thought it was going to be like an hour or so, but it really didn't take that long for it to come back up. So um, let me move you guys over here. So what's been up, everybody? I, I haven't been on live in so long, and I do have a little bit of news. If you didn't listen to my last um, haul video, I'm going to be a grandma for the sixth time. So we're excited about that, and we're getting ready for it. Uh, that baby is due somewhere around the Thanksgiving, between Thanksgiving and Christmas, I believe. So, yeah, six. <laughs> oh, gosh. Birthday parties are going to be, uh, thank you, Carl. Um, birthday parties are going to be interesting. It's going to be a lot of people in here, a lot of kids running around eventually. So... What's everybody been up to, guys? All right. So my dad, he, my dad, um, he's not walking very well anymore. He and my mom used to walk at least a mile up to six or eight months ago. They were walking. They, they live in this humongous gated community on the lake. And, um, and in his, his neuropathy has just gotten so bad he can't even make it around the block. So he went and bought a golf cart. And this golf cart is going to be so great for them because now they can go all around the community, see people they've never seen before. And they can join what they call the Sunsetters, which is a group of people. I think it's Saturday or Sunday nights. They meet down at the clubhouse at the lake and they all watch the sunset together on their golf cart. So that's going to give them more people to meet and hang out with. And also they can take part in the 4th of July golf cart parade. And I told him I would be glad to decorate his golf cart for him. So he's all excited. But last night we had this 
horrible storm and he goes we're supposed to have hail tonight and he hadn't got his cover yet for his golf cart so he had put his golf cart in the garage and moved one of his cars outside and he was like having this d difficult decision which one is he going to put out in the driveway and possibly get hail damage and he chose to put his car out there and not the golf cart so i haven't actually called him to see if they had any hail damage but we had a terrible storm i woke up with a dog sitting on my chest about three o'clock this morning uh, just shivering it was, it was a really bad storm so how uh, you're moving to the uh, moving to the basement to work oh okay so you are going to be working you're not going to be you're not going to be lazy huh okay well let me go ahead and share what I'm doing because it doesn't look like anybody wants to come on right now. So it would probably be kind of quiet. Um, you know, a lot, not a lot of noise. I'll talk every once in a while. Um, I just miss talking to people. So yeah, I did do really well at the flea market on Saturday. I got some really awesome things and I'm excited. I'm really excited. Hmm. Okay. Nissa, you picked up any decent scrub tops lately? I just sold a Premier uh, one yesterday. It had a kaleidoscope pattern on it. It was beautiful. But I thought I had already sold it because I couldn't find it. And turns out I was looking at the wrong number. I was panicked. Uh, I've made so many mistakes recently. and But that one wasn't. It just wasn't reading the right number when I went out there. So... I mean, surprised that I'm not hearing myself. Oh, really? Really? Three of your six orders the weekend were scrub tops. That's awesome. Now, my sales, I had the best sales month I ever had on eBay in March. And so I don't think I'm going to be able to top that. And so I think uh, for this month, my... Um, number is going to be down always it's down like a point or two from the last 90 days and i think that's why i just don't see how i can top last month last month was phenomenal so i'm not complaining i think i've had five or six i think i just had another sale right when we were coming on but haven't looked yet so you know sales have been holding strong i I was just so excited about my Japanese vacuum cleaner. I got another Japanese vacuum cleaner. And I was just like so pumped when I found that thing. And I never thought I would sell vacuum cleaner parts. But I don't know. Hmm. Yeah. I don't think I did this one, did I? No, I did not. And this is that place that you clean is awesome. Makes me want to rent it. <laughs> It's right on the water, right? And what a great place to, um, I think I already say I'm not paying attention. Um, that's why I'm not making my goal very much right now because I'm not paying attention.
You have a wonderful, beautiful area to walk in too. And we don't have, I just see houses when I walk. And my uh, homophobic neighbor that we used to live next door to, I only walk the dogs like down there. And then when I get right before I get to his house, I turn around because number one, my, my um, one dog has heart, he's in heart failure right now. So I hit, I don't want to walk him very far, but the other reason is I don't want to see my, my neighbor. He's always out there. He's so no, nosy. He sits out there, rain, shine, wind, cold. He doesn't matter. He's sitting out there watching everything. And I'm just like, Ugh. okay. So this shirt that I'm listing right now on eBay is $19.99 or best offer. But now what I'm doing as of, I think a month ago is I'm not listing anything on Poshmark for $20. I'm bumping it up to $25 because I have my uh, one shop sending out 40% off offers and that makes it $15. Um, before when I put it at $20, that was making the offer $12. And I was like selling things that I had just listed, you know, the day before for $12. And I didn't like that. So um, I started... Um, up in that to 25 but on ebay it shows uh 20 see right there so Okay, Carl says, my sales are week two, but I have not been listing. Oh, better start listing. I spent the morning recording a podcast with Scotty, then a two-hour nap in my standing hammock outside. I don't know what a standing hammock is. Are you just talking like that it stands? It's not between two trees? I'm not very familiar with it. standing hammock meant freestanding. Okay, got it. <laughs> I was like, for I was picturing you standing up. <laughs> so I know it's so beautiful. It's so beautiful. I'm trying to share my mother nature pics. I love them. We live in the Algeny National For Algeny National. Sorry, I don't have my glasses on. National Forest, big forest area on this side of the country. I know it's just gorgeous. Uh, we had nightmare neighbors like that once spent 24 seven hours outside drinking, drinking, talking loudly and yelling at the, her kid. It was horrible. Yeah. I wish our next door neighbors would come back. They've leased this house. They said they were going to lease it for a year, but now a year's up and now they're listening, it, leasing it to the same couple for another year. And they sit out there and they smoke and they smoke pot and we can still, we can smell it because our house isn't airtight and I just want our old neighbors to come back. They went away for a year to take care of his folks. And they just, I keep messaging going, when are you coming back? And they just like, well, we're going to lease it one more time. And I was like, Ugh. okay, I'm going to send out some juju. Hopefully you will get a sale during the show. Let me put my banner up there to remind you that if you make a sale during the show, I'll be glad to play a song for you. Um, and smoking. We couldn't open our windows for two years. Yeah. If our neighbors rent again, we are going to move. Almost all the renters have no idea how to live in the suburbs. Yeah. Mm-hmm. 
I was like wondering why my printer hasn't printed. It's because I didn't hit print. There we go. Um, so Sunday around three o'clock, our electricity went out and we had been having lights flickering for the last couple of weeks. And our AC guy was supposed to come over and install like a quick start kit or something like that. I don't know what it's called. Hard start. I don't know. He said that he thought maybe the AC was draining from our electricity. And so this kit stores up electricity so that when your electric your air conditioner shuts on, it pulls from that instead of from your house. Well, he didn't make it over to do that. And um, so Sunday, the electricity went completely out. And I was asleep, taking a nap, <laughs> and she called the electric company, and they came out, and it was a breaker. And normally you have to pay for that. I don't know. He said he was going to try to not charge us, but so he left, and then about 30 minutes later, the electricity went out again. So I went out there, and sure enough, there was a breaker tripped, turned it back, um, Electricity started back up. We did this like three times. Every 20 or 30 minutes, electricity would go out. And I'd turn the main off and, you know. And um, and she's like, we got to get an electrician out here. Well, try finding an electrician on a Sunday afternoon. It's nearly impossible. And um, so I started going around the neighbor's houses, seeing if anybody had an electrician and calling other people that we had used nobody would answer come out and she started calling in the on the internet and um and i want to tell y'all later about a story about angie's list because we've decided we're no longer we're not ever going to use angie's list because of it because they're very deceitful but anyway so finally our handyman um had given us a name of a guy and he called us back and he was an hour away and he said um I, I'll come out there. And he brought a breaker box with him. Well, when he got here, by then it was like five o'clock. And uh, he's like, he opened up the panel and there was this wire and it was like burned. Like when he opened it up, he, it smelled like fire, guys. Ugh. And um, he goes, well, I could rig that, you know, temporarily and come back out and we can give you a new breaker box. He goes, but I'm not very, um, you know, I really don't want to do that. Um, he goes, I'm going to see if I can get a guy to come out and help me install this new breaker box. And, um, you know, it's like a five, five thirty, and the sun's like, and I said, well, how long is this going to take? And he goes, well, it usually takes like four or five hours. He goes, if I get some help, maybe I can do it in three and a half. He goes, we got at least two hours of daylight. We'll bring some lights out here. And we're going to try to get it done. And they, guys, they worked and they worked and they worked and they worked. And they left around 1030 Sunday night. We have electricity. It was amazing. And he did not even charge us full price. I'm not sure why. You would think it would be double on a Sunday. He's going to come out at the end of the week and label the breaker box. And he's going to install a whole house surge protector evidently that's required in some states it's not required in texas but he thinks that would be a good idea especially since this is a very old house and i think that's 200 dollars to install that so yeah but i have been laying a bed at night worrying about a fire like and jenny is like well you should have worried about it when we were having problems. He's fixed it now. You shouldn't be worrying. I'm like, yeah, but what if he did it wrong? What if he installed it wrong? Uh, you know, what if one of the wires is in the wrong place? Like, I literally can't sleep. So, Anissa, you know what that's like not to be able to sleep. Yesterday, I felt like I had been at a slumber party. I just could not stay awake. I had laid awake all night worried about fire. And um, so that's how our weekend ended. Uh, before we know it, everything in this house will have been replaced. I mean, literally, we had the whole place repiped, right? Um, almost all the plumbing has been redone in this house. Uh, walls have been done. Uh, ACs, I mean, everything is going to end up being replaced, I know. And that's what happens when you get an old house. But hopefully we'll get some of it back when we move. Hopefully it'll be worth it.
I still think that the benefits from owning your own home, having your own place is outweighs all the money that we put into it because it's ours. We can do anything we want to it. We rented for years. Um, I don't know. I live on the river too, not as close as the place I clean. And technically we have neighbors, but I can't smell them smoking or really hear them. Yeah, you're lucky. You t suffer from terrible anxiety. It's awful. Yeah. Anissa, I don't know if you heard my last conversation on my OCD podcast with Jamie McPeak. We, it's a three-part series. It's on self-love. And she talks a lot about um, things to reduce anxiety in those. Oh, yeah. $200 for the whole service, the whole surge protector for the house. My dad has a um, portable generator he wants us to have, but I don't have a place for it. Um, it would have to go in my garage because it's so heavy. If I put it in my shed, my shed's about, I don't know, that much off the ground. There's no way I could lift that thing down. And I think we're going to pass as much as I would like to have a generator. Cause he got a, he got a permanent generator installed in his house last year. It's way away from the house. And so if anybody around here wants a free generator, um, I might be able to get you one, but I just don't think I could lift it. That would be, that would be back problems. <laughs> and I don't need any back problems. So here's some of the appliances. I don't know if I blow these up a little bit. Here's some of the appliances that I've been listing. So I found a Sautec coffee maker, new in the box. Got quite a few pieces off of that. Um, is this the one I'm working on? Uh, yeah, let me just, ah, crud, I don't know if I should have done that. I should have hit resume drive. That's okay. Um, and then let's see what else. Some of them I've already listed. They've already gone live. Found a Mr. Coffee maker for $7.99. I only got two parts out of it. I found that at a Christian, uh, resale shop. Uh, let's see what else I got in a draw. Okay, then I found a Keurig K Duo 5100. It's got like a commercial tank and it had quite a few pieces. There we go. And then, and then I found a 2.0 200, which also has a very large water tank. Didn't get as many pieces off of that one. Uh, then I found a Hamilton Beach coffee maker. I got the I got the whole machine for five dollars. I got one, two, three, four pieces off of that. That's not bad for five dollars. Uh, I think that's it. Everything else has been listed. My my Japanese, um, what do you call it? Um, I can't think of what I'm saying. Vacuum cleaner has already been listed. So I don't know how big I want this. I've got a timer going for an hour, so we'll see where we are after an hour. Boy, look at all the floral. See, I have very few spaces left for floral. Mm. Very few. I do have some room at the end, I know, but. Because I'm at, at the end almost. All right. Yeah, I see you writing about uh, your anxiety on Facebook. And it's a. Uh... I've been, I, I'm not on many medications at all right now, zero, but I've been on anti anxiety medicine before and it helped. Uh, but um, I'm chosen the no medication route right now and see. 
This um, the Daily Stoic has really helped me though, and I've only been doing it for a few months. So I'm hoping I'll keep on going with it and try to change my perception of situations. And I bought the book for my dad and my uncle because they both suffer from, I don't know, flying off the handle over little things. And I know my dad's been reading it. He told me he was, and he hasn't said if it's helped him yet, but he's only been reading it for like a week. But if anybody needs to hear that it's him, um, he gets worked up about everything little. So I'm going to work on this one for a second and then I'll see what you guys are saying. Oh, let's see. I'm going to put the wrong number. I think I've developed a little bit of dyslexia over the years. I didn't used to reverse numbers at all, but I do that a lot. That's why I switched to the patterns in my inventory room instead of numbers because I was just reversing numbers too often. And it was really driving me crazy, especially when you had over, when you had over a hundred items and the numbers were like triple digits. It was it was bad um, trying to find something. This is a really pretty top. I wonder if anybody else has come. Oh, there's Crystal. Hi, Crystal. Crystal, if you want to come on and work, let me know and I'll drop the link in the side chat. Um, Crystal, you don't have to say this out loud, but... Um, Why is that not coming up? Um, if you're working, what are you working on? And while you're here today, what would you like to accomplish? You can just say it to yourself or say it in the chat. I'm trying to get these clothes listed. I don't know that I'll get them all done because I'm having to read the side chat, but I'm enjoying talking to people today. Uh, what's been up, Crystal? I've been missing you. Uh, my work hours have switched this week. I got to go in tomorrow and Friday. And then next week, I got to go in Monday and Friday. So, uh, but I am only working two days a week now. And I think, uh, I want to say that it's, um, cut down on my stress because the night before I'm always stressed but I'm getting more done that's for sure at home okay there's another one of those $19.99 on eBay $25 on Poshmark and they will they will get a $15 offer Hey, Bumcrack, what are you doing? Are you um, are you uh, listing right now, Bumcrack? Are you working? Um, yeah, um, and there are a couple people I interviewed that have extreme anxiety and this extreme, like more than I have, and. I was just very impressed with their stories and um, Jamie's anxiety started really young, like around four. Um, and then um, Ashley Marie Berry, she's written a book. Um, she had such anxiety when she was a kid, she couldn't even go to school. Um, and I think Jamie probably had that issue too. Uh, she couldn't go to school. I had several children that I taught that missed a lot of school because of anxiety. I find that I have more social anxiety now than I did when I was younger. And I, I attribute that to the pandemic because we stayed in so much and I got used to it, not being around people. 
So when I have to go into the office, in fact, yesterday I was supposed to go in and we were going to have clients there. And my assistant actually called me the night before and said, would you prefer that I came in? I went in tomorrow, you know, and dealt with clients. And I said, oh, yes, I would love that. And um, she's like, OK, so. But I will say that by um, avoiding the social um, interactions like that, it's not really helping me overcome it. So, I don't know. Yeah, I think some people must be lurking too. I never set a daily goal because I can find one minute and I feel like poo the next. So I set a weekly goal. I'm listing and hope to have 100 done this week. Awesome. And you can do it as you want. I washed my hair and then I taped a box up to put some books in, then drank some tea. Hey, Bone Crack, do you have long hair? Like, do you have to set a special time aside to wash your hair? Um... I never heard a guy say, I went and washed my hair. <laughs> That's interesting. Hmm. I love this blouse by Jennifer Lopez. I don't pick her up very much, but I showed it on my haul. It has three keyholes. It's just adorable. Um, very classy. I, I left some Jennifer. Oh, I went to the 50 cent sale yesterday. Oh, God. It was crazy. It was so crazy. Uh, people were elbow to elbow. And I have to go to it next week, too, since I'll be working in the office on um, Monday. And I'm not looking forward to it. But I found some pretty good stuff for 50 cents. I think I got 27 items. No. 52 items or something like that for $27. I mean, it was it was great that when I saw the total at the cash register, I was like, wow, is this worth it? Like, maybe it is worth it um, to come to the sale. I don't know. I just couldn't sustain myself on Tuesdays on the 50 cent sale for very long because I, I would end up running out of inventory. I couldn't get enough. So, I don't know. You're not a hippie? Well, I, I hadn't pictured you as a hippie. I, um, I'm i trying to get my thing over there to... I hadn't pictured you as a hippie. You know what I pictured you as, bum crack. I sent you a picture in Summer's uh, Instagram direct message last year telling you what I thought you looked like. I, I see you as this tall, skinny guy um, with, like, wispy hair. Um cut just above the ears. Um, I think I sent a picture of what I thought you looked like. Hey, Rita, how are you? It's great to see you. Do you want to hop on? Are you at work? I'll ask you what I asked everyone else. If you're working, what are you working on? And what would you like to accomplish in the next? Let's see how many more minutes we have left. I have 25 minutes, 30 seconds left. <laughs> if we, if we go by that, I don't know. I'm already forgotten where I am. See, all right. That's why I should read the chat and then work, and then read the chat and then work instead of going back and forth. So I have to put all these appliance parts away after we get off of here. And I don't know where I'm going to put them. I'm running out of appliance part areas. And it's going to take some more moving things around. Um, I don't know. I don't think I made a size leaf for this, did I? Three quarter sleeve. It's 
Sorry, I have to be a little quiet. She's on the phone with work. All right. I'll take a break for just you're at work. I'm five foot eleven with short hair, not skinny, just medium. Okay, so you are tall and you do have short hair, which is kind of what I thought. Not skinny, just medium. Okay. Well, that was kind of close. I started a sale this morning and have three sales already, so hopefully that keeps going. I'm busy at the day job today. Good job. Uh, my advice, if you want any advice, is run a sale every day. Uh, maybe you do. Maybe you just meant the sale started again today. My sale, my sales start every day and end every day, end in 24 hours for a ur sense of urgency, but not that that matters. I don't know. All right, so I did that. I'm finally starting to learn the, how to list appliance parts better. Today was probably my best day. Um, I have these bags. We, we shop at Kroger. I don't know if y'all have Kroger where you are. And they give us these plastic bags. And we never know what to do with them. And usually we end up taking them back to the store so that they get recycled. But they're just a pain in the butt. We have so many. Uh, this is a size, this is a seven. Where's seven at? There it is. Um, and I was like, you know, what can we do with these bags? How can we use them? Well, today I used them whenever, what I did was I photographed each machine separately and parts, even though they'd all been in the dishwasher and all mixed up, I, I, um, I got them all together and then I put them each machine in a different bag and then, um, with a stick note that said the model. And then I sat here and I just went bag by bag, machine by machine. And it was so much, I'm not going to say easier, but it was more correct. Like I, I had no doubt what the next machine was, what the next part was it. I've been making a lot of errors guys this time. I don't, I don't know why. And I've been trying to figure this out. How can I do this where I don't make these mistakes? And so I gotta remember that next time because I parted out like five machines yesterday and all the pieces were mixed up, right? Because they were in the dishwasher. And I don't know. I think I'm finally figuring it out. I'm tired of making errors. Um, did that go up there? Yeah. My mouse. I think my mouse needs new batteries. There's another one that's listed for nineteen ninety nine. It's going for twenty five on Poshmark. Do y'all list higher on Poshmark than you do on eBay if you list on both platforms? Let me know. Anybody make a sale yet? Had to fix a printer and mute. Troubleshooting printers requires all my brain cells. Yeah, yesterday Maggie and I were working and her printer stopped working for just no apparent reason. And I felt so bad for her. She tried everything. I, I need to message her and find out if she ever got it working. I was so I felt so bad for her. Everything she she was reading the instructions, doing what it was saying. And this morning my printer was working and then about two hours later it stopped. I had to turn everything off, start completely over. For no reason it was doing just fine until I wanted to print something else printers are a pain oh they banned plastic bags here at least five to seven years ago really yeah a lot of places are now we have plastic bags we don't get rid of them we you know are the same prices across all platforms okay hey Glenn how are you are you at work Glenn you want to come on I have a few more minutes. I know people are tired of looking at my mug. But.
What's been going on, Glenn? I haven't seen you in a long time. And I haven't been on in a long time, so. Printers are the worst. They even have memes about how bad they are. Yeah. Well, and mine's an HP, and Maggie's is an HP, and I bought this during COVID. It was the only one they had on the shelf that I could afford at the time, but I am, I am almost positive that when this one goes out, I'm going to get the one that we have at the office because, but it's quite expensive, but we've never had, knock on wood, never had one. It's like a workhorse. And, um, I was mentioning that to, he's kind of like my boss, secondary boss. He said, oh, you know, you need to talk to your boss because he'd probably buy it for you. And I'm like, uh, I don't want him to have to pay that kind of money, but cause he, cause mostly I use it for my reselling business, but I don't know. Look at all these people saying, hi, you don't want to, you don't do your Sunday show anymore. Well, I haven't been on live period, uh, Glenn. I've been taking a social media break, trying to figure out what people want from this channel. Um, I will start doing Sunday night shipping videos, but I will tell you what I will not be doing anymore. And that again is because of reading the daily stoic. Sorry, I keep going back to this, guys, but it's just been invaluable to me. Um, I have decided, like, when I started the channel, I wanted to be transparent because I feel like there's a lot of YouTubers out there who we think we know, but in reality, they're not really what they appear. I think they kind of inflate their numbers. They kind of don't tell you some of the bad things that happen and so I was adamant when I started my channel that I'm gonna be me I'm gonna be transparent I think that's what people want and so when I would go on and I'd say I don't have any returns in my return box and I sell clothes um, I would take you over to my returns and I would show you to prove I'm not lying right I would show you my numbers here's how much I made in March and here's how much I made in February and I am not doing that anymore because I feel like when it's really, really good, I feel like it's bragging. And then when it's really, really bad, like it was last year, that it's like it comes off as complaining. Now, maybe you guys can tell me there's what, six people in here? Let me know what you think. But it's like basically what I'm thinking is people really don't care about what my numbers are, you know what do they really care what why should you care you should care about what your numbers are right and so i think what i'm going to do from the in the future is like i might say um how if someone says how are sales i might say well i'm 1.9 percent down right now or i might say sales are great or sales are crappy or could be better but i don't think i'm going to be bringing the numbers anymore because i don't really think people care it's not that i don't think it's your business but i don't really think you care i mean put it in the chat what you think but rita was sweeping the bedroom and the hall and you got something done girl you got me on your earbuds while the kids were here over easter krista lost one of her earbuds and that's like a disaster, okay? She relies on her earbuds, and the baby had gotten them, obviously. She, well, I caught the baby walking around with the ear pod, however you say it, pod case, you know. And she was running away from me when I saw that case, okay, you know, and I picked it up, and it was closed. And so I didn't think anything about it. Well, she evidently got a hold of one of them. So when they're ready to go on Easter and leave, her phone kept saying, you are leaving an AirPod behind. And she's like, I know, but we've looked everywhere. We've looked everywhere. We can't find the freaking thing. And so the housekeeper came yesterday and I knew, I said, if any, if anybody's going to find it, the housekeeper will. And she did. She found it and um, put it on my bedside table. So I don't know where she found it, but normally when she finds something weird, she puts it on the closest surface that she's at. And, um, so I called my daughter and I said, she found your ear pod and AirPod, whatever you call those things. I'm not an iTunes person. I'm not an iPhone person. And she said, well, we didn't order new ones because they're really expensive. And even on sale, they're really expensive. And 
So I mailed it to her today and she was happy, but I don't know why I said that story. But sweeping the bedroom, that made me think of that. Like, I do love my brother wireless printer though. Damn thing just works. Carl, my brother was the worst. Like, it was great while I had it. It was horrible trying to uh, connect. Kelly had to spend two hours with me um, trying to get it to connect. And then it did great, but it, it weighed. Oh, my God, the thing weighed a ton. And then when it went out, I'm telling you what, I only had it a year and maybe three months. It went out, and I had to have a printer. I could not survive. At that time, it was COVID. I had to have a printer for work because I was working solely from home and uh i couldn't even pick the freaking thing up to take it to the curb like i was just like uh so i guess it just depends on the individual printer you know like a lot of people are very happy with their rolos i hate this thing if i wouldn't have spent the money on it i would be getting rid of it but i hate it it's constantly losing connection you know, nothing else loses connection, but this thing does and to my Wi-Fi. And it'll work on three labels, and then the fourth label, it will say, printer's not there, you know. Um, so, but I love that I don't have to buy ink, you know. I love having the toner cartridge. My HP is a 134a cartridge and i get my cartridges pretty cheap and probably of all the printers i've had the the um ink's been the cheap the toner has been the cheap uh okay that's bridget uh she doesn't know i'm live obviously it takes uh, an ink thing that prints forever. Yeah. And like right now, it's telling me I'm out of toner. But I can, I will be able to print, I can tell you, for like another month. I just go in there and shake it every once in a while. I've already ordered that. Every time it says that, then I order one. And um, so I always have one ready to go. And uh, one time Amazon sent me one and it didn't work. Um, when you put it in there, it just went click, 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 click. It would not work. I had to return it. Um but so far, I don't know, I complain. What I don't like about it is the scanning. You have to scan from your phone and it won't save it into a PDF. All it does is send it to your email and then you have to save your email. It looks, it, you can't scan anything official. Um, we were trying to send in our tax thing the other day and I couldn't scan it because it's going to scan as an email. It wasn't, you know, professional. Yeah, they are so much better than Inkjet. Wireless is nice since you can just set it up in the remote spot. The reason I got this Rolo wireless, and I even tried hardwiring it into my computer, and it won't work that way, um, is because I wanted to work in the living room so I could be with my wife in the evenings and not be sitting here at the desk printing. And that has been nice. There have been nights where I have done what I'm doing right now, listed, and I just print the labels as I'm doing them. And then once I get four or five, I come in here and I you know, bag them up and stuff. That that has been nice. But keeping it connected, that's my problem. You have to read between the lines on people. Absolutely, Glenn, you do. Sharing eBay sales is not bragging. Okay, Carl, you don't think it's... Uh, yeah, if sharing success is positive. Okay, I do have you in my earbuds. <laughs> I figured that. You want me to scream real loud, Anissa? Um, I would love to do that, um, but I can't because she's working. So anyway, it's okay. I'm busy. What did that mean? Uh, Rita, did I miss something? It's okay. I'm busy. I don't know what that means. Hmm. Did I miss something from you, Rita? I don't really know what that meant. Obviously. Put it back in there, Rita, if you're there, because I didn't understand. Are you maybe uh, 
Are you messaging me? No, I don't know. That was Bridget messaging me. Okay. I knew I wouldn't get all these clothes done, but that's okay. I feel like I've done a lot today. I feel like I've been very accomplished in, um, in everything. So... This is not kind of like a break for me. I think I'm running out of space in my geometric. Uh, let's see. Let's do 200. I have like 360 geometric items. And I know I'm getting... But I do have a little bit more space on that shelf. Let me see. God, look at all those. Okay, see, there we go. 361 is empty. I'll stick that one there. Oh, yeah. The other thing I've been messing up on, and I don't know if that was recently or when I was a baby eBayer, I have been putting the wrong sizes. Like I've been people message me on Poshmark and saying, this says it's a 3X, but the tag is a 2X. So when I'm putting it in my spreadsheet now, I quick double check to make sure that I put the right size. Because when I'm doing this, I'm watching TV, you know, and there's a chance that I do it wrong. So... Just try, I'm just thinking of problems that have come up and how can I keep that from happening again? All right, let's see. I was talking to Junk Trader. Oh, okay, fine. <laughs> Kidding. She means I was busy and didn't reply right away. Oh, okay. Well, I'm happy for your sales, Rita. Because not everyone is... Um, it was so weird because I went... Um, I had to take a nap yesterday because, like I said, I felt like I was at a slumber party all night. I did my offers, you know, I went to my hub and I sent like two offers out, right? And then I went to lie down and Janya says, you have an alarm going off on your computer. And that alarm was to tell me to reset my promoted listings because I reset them every day and I had forgotten that I had the alarm. So I come in here and I set my promoted listings and I thought, well, let me just check my hub one more time and see if I have any offers to send out. And there were 25 items, I kid you not, to send offers out on in just a span of like 10 minutes. And I'm thinking, what the heck is going on here? You know, and so I looked at the items and every single one of those items was on 40% off. They were on my 40% off sale. They've been listed at least a year and and I thought well I wonder if somebody got my buyer group coupon or my newsletter saying that I have 40% off and they so they only were seeing items in my 40% off and they were clicking on then they clicked on 25 items and I'm thinking but then I thought but some of them weren't the same sizes. That's the only thing I couldn't understand. I thought, well, maybe if they're all one X's, you know, but some people wear two sizes, right? So um, they wear different sizes. So anyway, I sent 25 offers out in like a minute because they're already 40% off. They don't, they don't get another, I don't allow counter offers on those. And, um, I don't know if any of the sales I made yesterday were from that group, but I just thought that was wild within 10 minutes time um, <laughs> that I had all those to send out. I was like, holy crap, 
give me that every day. Every every 10 minutes, give me 25 offers to send. I will love that. Then I thought, well, maybe it's eBay catching up. But then I thought, no, because 10 minutes ago, I sent out two offers. So I don't know. I don't know what the problem was, but. I don't know how many guys, how many of you make sales actually with, by sending on offers. I don't really think I make that many. Mine are more from people making offers to me. I do get, I allow counter offers on things that are 10% and 20% off. But if they're on the 40 or 50%, I don't allow counter offers. And I do get a few counter offers, but. Okay, let me do this real quick because I don't want to make any errors. Mm, no idea how much this one, how much I put on this one. It doesn't say on my sheet of paper. Probably, oh, $24.99, okay. I usually write it on my sheet of paper so I don't have to look over there. All right, we are done with this one. Well, I'm so glad that YouTube got their act together and I was able to come on for a little while today. had someone do a chargeback on their credit card today on something they bought from me a year ago. eBay sent me the message. The person even left positive feedback that said fast shipping. I am confused. <sighs> Have you talked to eBay about it? it Seems like there should be a statute of limitations on that. Thanks, Beth. They could be better, but really, I've been so busy in work at work. I'm thinking about downsizing my store, and I moved my unlisted stuff in the storage unit. Oh, really? Error printing. Rolo, the printer could not print. It will eventually print. I get that message all the time. See? Before I knew it was going to print, I used to hit print again. And then I'd end up with two labels. I finally figured that out. It doesn't know what it doesn't know. Okay. Got to go. Customers coming. Bye. Bye, Rita. She's already left. That happened to me once. I won the case, though. I would think you would win that case, Crystal. It's just crazy that I have to respond to something like that, and eBay allows it. Yeah, absolutely. I don't do I don't do have offers on my stuff, but sending offers usually gets me a sale once in a while, enough to make it worth my time to do. Yeah, Carl, Maggie and I have talked about this um, ad nauseum. That what would what would happen if we would just set our prices to what we want to get? You know, raise them a little bit for coupons and sales, and just have not take offers. Um, and I don't know. I've often thought about that. Um, if something were to happen and my store would take a deep dive again, like it did last year, because I'm always worried about that. I'm always keeping that in the back of my mind. You know, it could, it could go down just as fast as it went up. Beth. Sarah, ooh, our, our hour is done. Um, seriously thinking about what I would do is I would probably take offers off and put free shipping. And then that would make up for the offers. And then um, maybe not do a coupon. Maybe run like a 5% sale and just not do a coupon. So I don't know, the coupons, a lot of people use them, but like today, they don't know how to use them. I had a message today. I don't know how to get the coupon. I don't know how to get the coupon. And it's like, if you just go to checkout, 
it will tell you um, let me stop my screen for a minute and see I think I made another sale I don't know. These all look the same. These pair, I have sold three pair of pants and they all look the same. I guess I didn't make another sale. I guess that was just a delay. Okay, so here's how I do it. This is kind of typical of me, like every 30 minutes to an hour, I get like two to seven items I can send offers on. And so what I do is I look way over here. Um, I always offer, I, I accept half price offers. So half price of that would be $12.49. So when I send that offer out, they can counter offer. But half of this $12.49, when I do the offer, it's going to be lower than twelve forty nine. So I don't want to do a counter offer. I can do a counter offer on that one, and I can do a counter offer on that one. So those three, um, I can do a counter offer on. But then that one is already marked down enough. I only offer them what the coupon is. I only offer them twenty percent, so that they can't say, well. You only offer me 10%. I could have gotten 20% if you used the coupon. They, they used to do that at the beginning. Okay, so this one I'm going to not do a counter on. And they just take it or leave it and get it for $11.99. It's been sitting there for over a year. I want to get rid of it. They're going to pay shipping. Done. So... I'm still, if y'all have been reading, if y'all watched my last uploaded car chat, I'm still opening missing mail claims cases with USPS. I've opened 10 in a week. And, um, and the guy, if you watch my car chat, the guy who I sent the money back for the craft that he never got, finally got his craft after, it was about 30 days, he waited for that craft. And I just didn't want him to wait anymore. I, he was being very patient with me and well, with the post office, and I just, I just felt like it was good business to give him his money back, and I said, let me know when it arrives, and he, he let me know it did arrive this morning, I think. It was frustrating. Um, it's crazy that they have to involve us at, at all yeah if if they want to give them their money back they need to take that out of ebay not you you shouldn't even know about that crystal yeah i don't think i've made a single sale by sending offers really hmm well, you got to catch, that's why I, even when I'm sitting on the couch, I'm checking my phone to see if they're eligible because you got to check, you got to catch them when they're still on the computer. I don't think later I get very many sales, but if, if they're still on the computer, they're still thinking about it, you know, I have more sales through offers than anything else on my platform. You sending offers, Crystal, or them sending offers? Um... I packed two things. Fix my printer and listed some Oracle cards so far this show. You rock. You rock. Let's give him something. I gotta have something for Carl. Yeah. Way to go. You did a lot. Okay. You're back, Rita. Okay. Rita, you I owe you a phone call or you owe me a phone call. I'm too lazy to go back and forth with offers, but to each his own. That's crazy. A year ago, really, was not. We're, yeah, we're not Costco. Huh. That's how. That's what you look like, Carl. Oh, I didn't know that. Huh. Okay. All right. Well, guys, it's been an hour. Think to yourself: Did you accomplish what you wanted to accomplish in this hour? Um, I will be back next week with another live hangout. Uh, let's see, Monday, Tuesday, 
probably be Wednesday or Thursday. Um, Tuesday, I got to go to that 50 cent thrift. Um, I didn't get, let's see, how many did I get done? I only got five. I only got five. So I have about, I don't know, about eight more to do, but I can whip those out quickly when I'm not um, looking at the screen. So thanks again for joining me. Don't forget to hit the thumbs up if you're watching later. Also, in comment below. And did you get some work done while you were listening to this live stream? I hope you did. Until next time, may God keep you in his pocket. Bye.